Now we just got done drawing the image onto the t-shirt. Let's get down and dirty and start painting. In this next step, I'm going to start painting a black outline. This will allow me to use thick and thin lines to indicate shadow and depth. This is one of the most important parts of airbrushing. The outline keeps the design balanced and full. When painting the outline, keep in mind not to overdo it. You want to paint a consistent thickness around the focus object. Alright, now we got the outline done, we're going to go ahead and start adding some shading. Now before we start getting into shading, I want to break a couple of things down to you guys as far as outlining. Now when you see the outline of my, my, my graffiti that I've chosen, everything that has a dark area, meaning like around the t-shirt area, um, even around the watch area, even around the, the bottom of his chin, um, I made it a little bit darker to indicate like shadow. So when you start laying in your, um, your shadows and different kind of effects like that, you're already kind of like understand and know the certain areas. So these are kind of like guidelines. So when I start coming in and laying in some of the black shadow in his hair, when I come in and start laying in the shadow that's gonna fall onto his chains from the bottom of his chin, these darker areas right here indicate to me that it's shadows. So you always wanna be able to have some type of guidelines when you start doing airbrushing as far as your black outline. It's very, very important. You don't want to get lost into your graphic. So, it, it, like I said, if you notice, we have thick and thin areas. You know, we got the thick area right here showing the shadow. We got the thinner area at the tops. It kind of like shows some gradient kind of fades. We're going to fade in and do. And that's very important when you're laying out the graphic. Next step, let's go ahead and start doing what we do. Let's add the shadow. <laughs> While designing, add some more attributes to your painting to make it more realistic, such as hair strands and features to show body movement. In this stage of the design, this is a perfect time to add wrinkles and lifelike shadows. These accents really bring out the artwork. Skills, Urban Airbrush DVDs.
while airbrushing out and came up with a couple of techniques to make shading a little bit easier. And this shading technique that I kind of came up with basically helps to do folds and creases. You want to start off with, with like a teardrop style, do a little darker shading, come back over with another teardrop, and shade the outside of that teardrop. And all you want to do basically is kind of work the darker areas up a little bit, kind of doing a gradient fade. And if you have another image, such as the chain, you want to be able to do a darker drop shadow to indicate that with the image on top of it. And then you want to slowly just kind of add these different textures and different shades around it. Now with this technique, you can just keep adding more loops and shadows to kind of give it a little bit more depth. Now this technique, you can use it for clothing. If you notice, I've even used it for the, for the fingers and some of the arms to be able to indicate um, veins. I've used it in the face area to kind of indicate shadows and jaw lines. This technique right here is, is, is definitely useful. Um, we just want to be able to utilize it to show the light and the dark areas. So definitely, you know, utilize this, take this technique, and remember the Airbrush Assassin showed you that. <laughs>
how yo, we just got done adding all the white, all the highlights. Man, this thing came out hot, y'all. What y'all think? Yeah, same thing. Hey, the next thing we're gonna do is add a little bit of brown. It's gonna enhance a little bit, kind of warm it up a little bit. The brown is really gonna make it pop. Oh, watch this. y'all can see that brown really makes it pop gives it an old rustic kind of like look so i think we done y'all what y'all think it's a nice piece a piece like this you sell for anywhere from 75 to like 80 dollars if you add lettering on the back you can even get probably like about a hundred dollars so stay tuned we're gonna do another one in full color 